welcome to the next episode of Revolutionary Talk. We're on to the last part of our current series. We're talking about how you can build your home for success. So I think it's a pretty fun one to wrap this up. Um, do either of you have anything currently in your home or maybe what you're thinking about doing um, that's a little unique, that's like maybe like a workspace or something to help you be more efficient? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like looking at it. Like, hmm. mm-hmm. I, I mean, honestly, it's kind of like my whole space. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, in the past week, um, I think I've rearranged my apartment like three times because I'm utilizing it to do different things for work and everything is like purposefully very lightweight so that I mm. can move it all and put it right back. There you go. Um, I don't know. I always like to be able to make multiple uses just so yeah. it is like the whole space yeah yeah exactly but i don't know i have like all of my work things that like stay in one bag and that bag like stays by where i would work but it's not all out mm. all the time yeah but Got it's it. always there like i can visually see it and be reminded that i should definitely open it nice <laughs> so i mean kristen for you like this kitchen i mean you like built this and got this whole setup so we could shoot here. Yeah. So I mean, I think you're a really good example of this. And what well, was the intention behind? You know, I exactly. the vision that I wanted to have, which was a podcast, which was like you know a space to do content creation to help build a business. Like the intention behind the space and kind of like you know you put your bag in a certain spot and so it, when you look around, it just that's kind of how it is. Uh, with my place as well like every every spot kind of has is its own designated i guess you could say decorations yeah <laughs> are they decorations yeah, they're, 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 <laughs> i think that's more of like the feng shui thing like yeah the vibe. i, I mean, feel I, like i think that's part of it though it's like the space itself needs to have like enough Mm, kind of like symmetry and flow that it's not gonna really disrupt you mm-hmm. and it's not going to like also be something that doesn't make you feel good or feel happy in your space which is another reason i think that like lighting is really important so like Mm -hmm. you have all these great lights it's bringing this in content in here looks a certain way because of that but also just when you are existing in this space you feel more energized you feel better Mm -hmm. because of the flow of the furniture because of the lighting because of what's on the walls how it reminds you of certain things that you care about all of that, yeah. it kind of all is how you build your personal, you know, environment to be successful for you. Definitely. Uniquely, I guess. Definitely. Um, yeah. I think it starts out too, like with the actual like floor plan, you know, yeah, and then the height sure. of the ceilings, like us the being taller the people, we're like a really big deal. <laughs> it I really have is. Ceilings, it really <laughs> changes things. It just you feel like you have a little more yes. energy flowing top to bottom, maybe not side to side, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I relate to some of your, uh, you, your, what you two are describing. Um, you know, a little bit with the vibe, like, I've really put a lot of work into my home office to, like, like you know, I've spent endless hours putting together this, like, nice L-shaped desk. So mm-hmm. I have, like, everything arranged exactly how I want it. Um, you know, photos of, like, things I care about and why I do what I do. And um, I think like the intention which one of you mentioned is really important behind the space like if you put effort into it to be a certain way and um you know there's intention for what it's for i think that's i don't know kind of under thought of um so i mean theoretically like i could pull out a laptop and go work from the living room not but same. it's not going to be as <laughs> effective as having its dedicated no. space to And it's like to you're, work. you're also setting your mindset. So it's like, yeah. yes, you're in the living room and you're working, but that's your living room. So your mindset there is different than your intentional office space and having things that remind you about why you do what you do. You know, I think that that's really in everyone's home space. Like I have mm-hmm. little things that came out of my dad's workshop or like my grandma cool. had yeah. this, you know, it's just these things are always in my apartment because it's like good reminders, mm-hmm. good way to stay like in your lane, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like that. 
Yeah, it's kind of funny, you know, if you have the intentions in each room, you almost like immediately get a vibe into each room you go into, like, of what it's about. It's pretty cool. Any, uh, like, outside of working, do you guys have this for any other space in your room? My like, car. Not my, really? not my own okay. personal space in my, like, living, but my car. For sure. Same. I'm in my car so much. And if I don't feel like my car is clean, it's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> I try to clean my car, like, out. Yeah. Like, twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, I have different things in my car that smell a certain way. And I drive the car that I drive because I like it. It's aesthetic. You know, yeah. I like just yeah. certain things like that that make yeah. you just feel better about... It's you. It's unique. It's your. It's your environment, too. Oh, yeah, I mean, we spend lots of time in, in the car, so that's important. I like that. Awesome. Any other final tips for people into, as they go into 2022 to, you know, mm. when it comes to their environment kind of in general as we wrap up the series? Ooh, I, this might be a little shift, but, I mean, as far as organization goes, there's, I mean... I don't know if anybody else has done this or does this, but just like endless sticky notes. Oh, everywhere. I was just going to say my <laughs> lists. I didn't mention my lists and you yes. did it. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. like my brain constantly is like, oh, I need to do this. I, I need, need to, do to this. see the list though. Yeah. Like, it needs to be out and open. I get that. Yeah. yeah. An app that's been really helping me is an app called Things, which Ooh. Nehemiah had shared yeah. with me yeah. months ago. And, uh, that, I mean, it, it takes away all the sticky notes that I have to do. But then, like, it really helps with reminding me or, mm. you know, coming up with things that I have set in there that are monthly tasks, you know, for mm. instance, or weekly tasks. Instead of me having to remember to go schedule those in, I can just schedule it in once. once. And then nice. just, like, boom, nice. boom, boom. I'm like, this is great. Nice. Has cleared up a lot of my, you know, my thinking yeah. <laughs> <For sure>. space. <laughs> Yeah, Big I help. have like an ongoing list in three different places, and mm. sometimes I don't think it's the healthiest thing because it's like an overlapping list. Because it's oh, like remember that right. this is also on your other list. Yeah. <laughs> so and I don't maybe know. the things app will help you because you can. Do I like, I like to physically write the things down, gotcha. even if I never look at that piece of paper ever again. If I wrote it down, I will probably remember it. M I don't know why, it just seems like if it's in my phone, it's like one more thing that kind of gives me anxiety because I already have so gotcha. many notifications. <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to look at it because maybe it's not like that, but yeah. I mean, is there? I also write things down too. Yeah. It just kind of depends on what it is because if I'm working on a project, mm -hmm. I'll tend to actually write things down. Even because if I type it, it's not the same as writing. It is, it's different. It's mm -hmm. different. Yeah, it's weird. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like both sides of that. I, I do need to check out this things app. I'm all about efficiency, so I'll definitely Work smarter, not out. harder. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On that note. I think that's the way you build your space for success, is to work smarter, not harder. Exactly. Well, it's freeing up time. I mean, yeah. the more ways that, for me, that I can free up my time, the better it is, as long as it, you know it's efficient and it works well. Yep. So. Yeah. I like it. Good stuff. So I hope everybody enjoyed this series. Uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next series as we get into February. <laughs>